Good day. Welcome to our heavenly space. Take the load off. You know the burden brick you have been carrying? Lay it here. Allow us to fill you with peace you are needing and help equip you to maneuver through this physical world and help you to fill your pages in your book, in your life that God gave to each one of us. You know the man you see stretched out on crosses? His name is Jesus Christ. He is God the creator of the world's son. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the one who fought for our life by paying our sin debt in full. Yes, Jesus Christ died for you. Yes, for you and I and your family. You are truly loved. Not sure if you knew that. The category for today is a poem titled Fairness. Mental illness is a difficult life. For many people judge each type, which causes a lot of strife. Even the people we are supposed to trust, they blow us off like dust. What those people don't know, we are made in one body. They should not be behaving this naughty. We are human beings as well. And there is a lot more to tell. Listen to what we have to say before making assumptions and that we are making this up in our head. If you actually listened, you could resolve the problem correctly instead. Yes, we may lack in certain areas in our health. It's not only about the wealth. Do the job correctly God gave you or he can give permission to remove it from you too. If you were placed in a job that involves the care of people and their health, you better not be only looking at just the money and the wealth. For God gave you that very talent or skill. He can give permission to remove it and let it pass to receive that lawyer's bill. Treat all patient with best care. God is all about justice and fair. Let us go and die on God. How? Start by beginning with the action and the words of the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, help remind us of your love and provide us with your love. And as well, increase our faith and hope. Provide us with all the food we will need. Provide us health and strength, and we ask for wisdom and faith, and for everything that we will need for today. Amen. We have two messages. We are praying for Lily's safe return home, thinking of you family and friends of Lily. And we are thinking of you, Victoria, family and friends. Today is the anniversary of your loved one leaving their physical body. We have two prayers for Lily. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, send your workers to find the Lily Cants. For she is in the hands of someone that we don't know. Return this child to the authorities in safety. And God transform and convince the people that have her. Or other people that are involved in this case to turn themselves in and do the right thing. 
I ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And we also have another prayer that goes along with that one. Jesus provides strength and comfort to Lily Kant's family and friends. Struggling with this abduction or kidnapping and keep their belief strong within ho with hope of Lily Kant's returning home to safety. I ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. We ask as well for the community to pray as well. The more people praying, the more chance of Lily returning home. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we have a prayer for Victoria family and friends. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, provide Victoria family and friends with strength comfort, and peace as they are reminded of their loved one leaving their physical body from this physical world. Provide them assurance that their loved one spirit is with them always and help Victoria family and friends to continue to finish their physical race on earth. Provide them all they need so that they too can finish their race so that they can meet their loved one in your heavenly rooms for eternity. I ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' blood shed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we place all these prayers and all the prayers of our viewers and listeners that they have silently in all of your God's holy people. We ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us go and find out what God is telling us for today through his instruction book of life, the Bible. The first scripture of the day is Psalm 24, 3 to 4. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those who whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. The next scripture is Galatians 1, 15 to 16. But even before I was born, God chose me and called me by his marvelous grace. Then it pleased him to reveal his son to me, so that I would proclaim the good news about Jesus to the Gentiles. When this happened, I did not rush out to consult with any human being. The next scripture 
is Galatians 2.21. I do not treat the grace of God as meaningless, for if keeping the law could make us right with God, then there was no need for Christ to die. The next scripture is Colossians 3.13. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. The next scripture is 2 Peter 1, 9. But those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. The next scripture is 1 John 1 9 and it is the last scripture of the day but if we confess our sins to him he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness Now we have extra suggestive reading for today. Psalm 24, 1 to 10. Galatians 1, 1 to 24. Galatians 2, 1 to 21. Colossians 3, 1 to 25. 2, Peter 1, 1 to 21. 1 John 1, 1 to 10. Tomorrow's category is imagery, and the title is, Are You the Child God Gave the Skill to? Thank you to all our listeners and viewers. We look forward to you listening in tomorrow. Have a God-blessed, triumphant Tuesday for yourselves and your families. Amen.